Flags of Our Fathers, authored by James Bradley and Ron Powers, is a non-fiction narrative recounting the poignant story of a group of U.S. Marines who became immortalized through Joe Rosenthal's iconic photograph, capturing the raising of the American flag on Iwo Jima during World War II. The pivotal moment involved Harold Schultz, Ira Hayes, Rene Gagnon, along with their fallen comrades Mike Strank, Harlan Block, and Franklin Sousley. Sergeant Strank, choosing to retain his rank, remained steadfast in his commitment to keep close to the men he vowed to bring back to their mothers. The narrative also introduces John Bradley, a Navy corpsman assigned to the 28th Marines, 5th Marine Division, the unit responsible for the flag raising. Initially silent about the event and its aftermath, Bradley's son, James Bradley, delves into interviews with surviving members to unravel his father's experiences, forming the foundation of Flags of Our Fathers. Set against the backdrop of the aftermath of the Pearl Harbor attack, the United States found itself embroiled in two wars, fostering a sense of patriotism and a willingness among Americans to sacrifice for their nation. The diverse backgrounds and motivations of the six men who raised the flag, including Strank, Hayes, Block, Gagnon, and Bradley, offer a glimpse into the broader context of the war effort. Trained at Camp Pendleton in California, these men, part of the 3rd Platoon, known as Easy Company, are deployed to Iwo Jima to confront the entrenched Japanese forces led by Lt. Gen. Kurobayashi. The battle unfolds, revealing the strategic importance of capturing Iwo Jima for the American war effort. The book details the harrowing experiences of the Marines as they encounter fierce Japanese resistance, with strength and sousely meeting tragic fates during the ongoing conflict. The iconic flag raising on Mount Suribachi, captured by Rosenthal's photograph, becomes a symbol of hope, although the battle on Iwo Jima continues for another four weeks. The narrative extends beyond the war, exploring the lives of these men in the years following the conflict. Despite their reluctance to be portrayed as heroes during the Seventh Bond Tour, the veterans find themselves thrust into the spotlight, challenging traditional narratives and emphasizing the collective effort of the Marines at Iwo Jima. The book concludes with the realization that the true heroes of Iwo Jima are those who did not return, a sentiment encapsulated by John Bradley. The authors, Bradley and Powers, defy sanctimonious tradition, revealing the individual struggles and triumphs of the men behind the iconic image. As the book weaves the details of the battles on Iwo Jima and the subsequent lives of the veterans, it imparts a profound lesson. The heroes are not defined by a singular moment, but by the sacrifices made by those who did not come back. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.